Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. Today we are going to be making an origami dragonfly. At the end of this video, I will show a tip on how to use recycled paper to make this dragonfly. If you like what you find in this channel, please give us a like and also share it in Google Plus or in Facebook or any other um, social media. Your sharing this help us to continue bringing you more origami video tutorials. Thank you for your support. To make this dragonfly, we need a square piece of paper. I recommend to use very thin paper like this. This is Kami paper. And in this case, I have a square 7 by 7 inches, 18 by 18 centimeters. The paper should be of different color on each side. We are going to begin by cutting this square diagonally in half. We have two triangles. We are going to use them both. We will have two pieces that fit together perfectly. One for the tail and one for the head. We will need a drop of glue. If you are an origami purist, don't let this discourage you. This dragonfly will be worth your infringing a little bit. We will fold both pieces in the same manner up to a point. We start with one. We begin with the color of the wings facing up. We fold it in half vertically. We are going to fold this edge toward the center. We are going to leave a very small distance from the edge to the central line. Here it comes to a point, touch the central line, but here it doesn't. We fold the left side in the same manner. Notice the vertical gap. We are going to rotate. We bring the bottom corner to the top corner. And we crease. Unfold, unfold. Turn it over, top to bottom. And now we are going to make a fold about here. We bring this edge so that this distance is the same as the distance from here to the fold. We turn it over, top to bottom. And now we are going to make a fold from an intersection that we have here to this upper right corner. To do that, we first fold up on this line. We pull from here, from the right side. Make sure that at this point, we see a very sharp corner and we crease the paper between those two points. And we repeat here. Now we turn to this side. We are going to hold like so. We are going to be bringing the flaps up. We press here and push from underneath. We create a new fold here. We rotate. We are going to bring this point to this center and create a fold about here parallel to the central line.
rotate and repeat. Now we fold the other triangle in the same way up to this point. I will set this aside and I will come back to it later. So we are going to continue making the part of the head. Rotate. We are going to make a small mark about here. From that corner and this edge has to match. And we mark at the center. Now we bring this point to that mark and make a crease. Unfold, open for a few seconds, turn it over. This is a mountain fold. We want these smaller side folds as mountain folds too. And then we are going to press and let that flap go inside. We have these flaps here. We are going to fold along here and open. Now we are going to bring these two flaps down, mount and fold. And now there is an internal edge here. We are going to fold along that edge. And then we are going to fold along the vertical fold. Now we are going to bring the wings up. And we are going to fold from this point down to this edge, not quite to the corner, but off the corner, about here. As we do that, then this edge is going to go inside. And this is the result. One more view. Now we are going to repeat this on the back. and we bring both wings back to this position. Now we bring the wings down again. We are going to make a, a fold about here. We bring the paper over at this point is aligning here, we are going to go beyond that edge, just a little bit. And press to make the crease. Same on the back. We match this wing with the one underneath. This will be the head and this will be attached to the body. We hold from here and we are going to reinforce two folds that we already have there. Now we turn it over and we hold it from these two flaps here. We press there and then 
From underneath, we're going to push and open. We will work to make the eyes. We are going to make a fold along here from this corner up and it should be parallel to the center. It's a tiny fold. This short edge goes beyond a line that we have underneath. We press on this folded edge. and flatten. We repeat the squash fold on the other side. And we have the head and two wings for the front part. Now we are going to proceed to make the tail and the two back wings. We position this piece so that this opening is up and we are going to fold in a half along the center. We are going to fold along here. Same on the back. And bring this edge to match this. Same on the back, both wings should match. Now we are going to make a fold along here, from this point to this. We follow an edge that we have underneath. And this is the tail and the back wings. We hold the two pieces together, we turn this over, and this opening will fit over this ridge. And to hold it together, we need to apply a couple of drops of glue. Here is the tip to making it with recycled paper. Thin papers from all magazines are ideal to make this dragonfly. The trick to using this paper is finding magazine pages with dark images on one side and printed text on the other side. Ideally, the type should be black on white or light color background. We just are looking for the contrast. Make a dragonfly, post your picture in our Facebook page, write your comments, keep in touch. Check out our videos for more origami animals. These are some examples. Links are found in the description of this video.